This is the Heathkit model IT121 FEP and transistor tester kit. And a YouTuber sent this to me, Ron. Thanks, Ron. I'm finally getting around to this. Here's the Heathkit sticker with the model number. And this is what's on the bottom of this transistor tester. You've got instructions on how to operate this tester. This, of course, is the insides, and you'll notice at the top there just an amazing amount of switches for each one of those buttons. And here is a look at the other side, and it requires two D batteries. Here I am taking some WD-40 on a Q-tip and rubbing the material. That material is where the carbon run is. And what that does is, over the years, that material dries out because it's a, a petroleum product. And I put WD-40 on it and it expands back to its original state. It works very well. And I've been doing this since I've been in high school and I graduated in 63. Ron also sent the manual, which is going to be very handy. And as you can see, there's a checklist. So when you complete a task, you check it and move on to the next one. There's also some very good information that will be very useful when you're using this transistor tester. And Ron even stapled his receipt to the manual. And here you can see I cleaned it up. It looks pretty nice now. This will probably need to be calibrated. But what I wanted to show is the meter's good, which is the most important thing. And as I turn this control, you can see that the meter is not sticking at all. It's very smooth. So, sometime in the future, I'll try and calibrate this. Thanks for watching.